Hello everybody, uh, there's normally, uh, game audio and stuff, uh, during these parts, but, uh, sadly, the, uh, the game audio and, and my voiceover and stuff and, and, and all my friends, it all got, uh, lost. I don't know where it went, so I'm just going to record 20 minutes of me talking about the game and stuff, so we left off last time after the swamp, I think it was, so... We're going to move on to the mountains, I do believe, in, in this one. And we're going to fight Gort, who is one of my favorite bosses to fight because the fight is always exciting and, and it's challenging because of how mean Gort is to, uh, to you as a player. So uh, to start, as always, I, I slow down time. And the reason why I slow down time is because I have a lot of shit to do and only three days to do it. If you don't slow down time, the game is a lot more difficult to uh, to get a lot of stuff done. In. Like, you can get stuff done, sure, but you can't get a lot of stuff done. You understand? Like, I need to get a lot of stuff done. And uh, I'm going to certainly get a bunch of stuff done this this uh, this run through. And I'm going to get even more done when I uh, reset time again at the end of it. Because one of the, the point in the game, in my opinion, when you get the most productive is after you beat the Great Bay Temple. And the reason why this is, is because you get the hook shot. And pretty much, you can do anything in the game with the hook shot, except uh, things that the element arrows are required to do. Other than that, I mean, you can pretty much do anything in the game. So once I have the hook shot, I'm going to be ready to do, like, everything. And I'm going to do as much as I can in the in the three-day span is physically possible. Like, this isn't a speed run. I mean, I never introduced it as a speed run. It's a live play of the game with me talking, and usually I have friends around because this is a game that's very close to me. You know, I love this game. First time I played it, it was just because I love this game. And uh, people enjoyed watching my original play of it because, you know, I love this game. And I'm not particularly bad at it. I'm not particularly good at it either. I'm certainly never going to be a speedrunning guy. Um, unless they do like a glitchless speedrun thing. And that would never be allowed on a fucking... On, an, on a marathon. Because glitches are like why people can do the game fast in the first place. It's a really long game. Um, it doesn't stop me from doing as much as I can though and even if I did do like a glitchless 100% speed run I don't I don't think that I spend all that time trying to get the fucking video to be edited and nice and what happens it fucked up the audio in the first place from the moment I imported this fucking video it was fucked and now it's fucked again I don't even know what caused these videos to overlay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the area where the audio fucked itself. And I'm going to put a preview from the upcoming album. I've got a couple of tracks uh, put in, so I'm going to do a couple of those. They're still in MIDI format. I'm going to be recording them this month. So be prepared for some actual previews with real instruments. But for now, here's a MIDI preview of one of the songs. to make new characters and these two games have exactly the same characters some of them don't even have name changes and some of them do and they didn't change a lot of the music they did add some new music but there's a lot of old music obviously being reused and there's some old music that is repurposed and then there's old music that was eliminated and replaced with something else the core gameplay elements are a lot of fun for me to play around with. Like, I like uh, going through all the fights and doing my jump slashes and putting on masks and interacting with enemies and allies and the environment in all the ways that, that the masks allow. Every single mask does something. They all have a use of some kind. And I think that that's really cool because it can't be easy to code something like that. 
it's definitely an interesting thing. One of the one of the biggest pulls to me, like the thing that really pulls me back to this game, is that no two playing experiences are the same. Yes, you're playing the same game in theory. Um, but you can do so many different things unless you deliberately do the same things every single time you play. You have this nonlinear experience that can happen so many different ways. If you're not after the most, uh, what's the word, efficient way of beating the game, then you can always have a different experience with it. And not in the same way that something like Minecraft or Call of Duty or other really popular games with, re with relatively non-linear ideas behind them. This game has a pretty set-in-stone structure because it was made during the time that triggers were how games were created and how they worked. It was what the inner working of a game is and was. The thing that Minecraft lacks, that this game brings, and so few other games like it can bring, is that in Minecraft, it's made unique because you can do anything that you want to do within its limits. And there are very few limits. You can build whatever you want. You can kill or not kill whatever you want. You can go after the final boss if you want to. And if you don't, then you can just play the game forever. Uh, building maps or building towers or castles or cathedrals or anything that you want. And to me, that is boring. In this game, there is a story that you are tasked with ending. You have to end the story to beat the game. You can take as long as you want, but you can't take as long as you want, if you know what I'm saying. You still always have only three days. There's always a time limit, but you can reset the clock whenever you want, however many times as you want. So in theory, you have as long as you need to do what you have to do. That's something that adds an element to the game that I really like. There's structure to it. There's time management that you have to keep track of. It's just stuff that gets my brain working in ways that other games just don't, and they don't make me think that way. They don't make me wonder about the things that this game makes me wonder about. They don't engage my mind in ways that Majora's Mask does. And at the same time, there's plenty of challenge that has built muscle memories into my hands and my brain that allow me to do things in later games that I wasn't able to do before playing this game for as many times and as long of a time as I have been playing it. Naturally, I'm very good at twitch aiming because of this game. I have a great understanding of speed versus distance when aiming something, and obviously timing is also very important in this game. And I think that um, Ocarina of Time never had that, because there was no time limit. I didn't have to really think about what I was doing, it was more about where I was going. Ocarina of Time is a much more simple game because of that. There's only one objective, you have to complete the temples. That's it, I mean, you can do the side quests, but they don't have any meaning. There's no real story behind any of them, to be honest. There isn't really much that the game has to offer you beyond beat the temples. Or you can do the side quests for pieces of heart. There aren't, like, stories that you are creating. Every side quest in this game that's inside of the notebook, we're going to put asterisks around that, inside of the notebook, has some kind of story behind it. Even the Beaver Brothers, they tell you a story about their people. You know, you learn something about these beaver beings that worship bottles and they determine each other's worth by how fast they can swim. And you have these things that are living in this giant dam near the Zoras and they seem to be living in peace and there's only two of them and they're both brothers. So that's interesting enough as it is, but... One of the big things is the biggest quest for one of the last masks that you 
can grab is an, a quest that takes the entirety of your time limit. It tells its own storyline between two characters that are not main characters. They are side characters, and they have a story that lasts the entire time that the game allows you to play before you have to reset time. And their story is involved. Their story is interesting. Their story is fun to do because of all the activities that are done throughout this story. And it's well told. You start to build attachment to what's going on. You get immersed in the entirety of how, yes, they're going to get married and stuff, but the world's going to end. And their love is so strong that even the world ending is second to them being able to be with each other in marriage. They want to get married more than they want to escape the end of the world for them. I think that that is pretty powerful, and that's something that does not exist in Ocarina of Time. It doesn't exist in a lot of games. And the, the thing I like the most about the story is how it isn't just menial task after menial task. There are actual adventurous things that you need to do. You need to do rescues. And you need to do... You need to steal something that was stolen. And there's always a race against time in some way. In fact, the last legs of the quest are literally when you only have a few minutes before the, the world ends. You usually have just enough time to pull out that ocarina and reset time. And I think that that's pretty cool as a, from a design point, from a writing point, and from a gameplay point. It's really cool that they have something like that in the game. And I really like that about the game itself. One of the other things that this game offers that always brings me back to it is the worlds are all so different when it comes to their temples and how to navigate each world. They don't have any kind of samey stuff, even though the controls certainly don't change. And the main thing that they do is how to enter the world that changes from each world to world to world, so that you don't obviously get into a world that you're not supposed to get into without, of course, glitching. Um, one of the One of the cool things about this game specifically is that they make it so that the obstacles that keep you out of everything make sense within the world's story. Like snowheads and the mountains, their obstacle is a giant thing of ice that you need to break. Now at the same time, when you break this ice by hitting a large piece of ice above it, you, uh, you figure out a core element in getting everything in the dungeon that you're going to go in. That if you remember how you entered the area, because you don't have the memory of a goldfish, you'll start to realize, oh, I already learned how to do this. Or the way how you get into the Zora's realm of Great Bay requires you to jump with the horse. You have to learn how to jump over obstacles with the horse which is a key element to other quests, and even some quests that you don't need to do. But either way, you learn how to do the game a little bit better. And when it teaches you how to use the hookshot, there are things in the game that require the hookshot to get into, including the last area, um, Ikana Canyon, which requires the hookshot. And if you don't know how it works, you can't get up there. So it spends the time to teach you how to use it and what things are grippable and what things aren't, and the limits of the hookshot, which are all very important to know before you use it throughout the game. And I think that Nintendo did a very good job with how they designed each and every element of the game, teaching you along the way through challenge and through trial and error. Like, you learn how to swim pretty goddamn well by the time you're done with the Great Bay Temple, because if you don't learn how to swim very well, you can't really complete the temple. Not to mention it also teaches you a lot about how the physics engine works with swimming, and you learn how to jump, and you learn how to dive, and you learn how to super swim, and 
how to fight things as a Zora underwater, and when it's better to use a swimming attack, or if you should just sink to the bottom and use your boomerangs. And it also is just a lot of fun to experience all of these discoveries, especially the first time that you play it through. And the next time you play it through, the game gets a little bit easier. And then the next time you play it through, the game gets a little bit easier. And this isn't an accident. This isn't a coincidence. The game's core gameplay, playing through the game, teaches you and helps you practice to get better at the game. That's why this game is so great to play over and over and over again. Because you practice and you get better. And it does things that has many games that help you practice with the bow, that rewards you for progress with a heart piece, with a larger quiver, and obviously the sense of accomplishment of doing things perfectly, etc., and in a timely fashion. And it has things that make you run faster and time your running. It has constant ways and just very consistently balanced ways to get better at everything the game has to offer. And there aren't a lot of games that do that without a training mode. Like, obviously, training modes are designed to do that. This game has its own train player made more or made more apparent like how far you could fall having better falling damage although making your falling damage more realistic doesn't really add or remove from gameplay it just adds or removes from certain challenge i also think that they could have done better with defining which things are side quests and i think they could have had more story to a lot of the side quests I wish that they had a story for every character, including the banker that explained something interesting about them. But I mean, obviously, you can't make a story for everything, especially on something as limited as an N64 cartridge. It's, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult for me to to hate this game it's difficult for me to stay away from this game and i'm really glad i was able to find a way to to record it and share it with the world my experiences with it and my experience with it my knowledge of it my ability at it everyone is a unique player in and of themselves and has a unique experience of the game in and of themselves. And if you aren't speed running it, you can play this game in a way that nobody else plays it. So I think that it's a great game for a let's player that's trying to develop a personality, that's trying to show how they play a game through their gameplay. This is the kind of game that you can just play it the way you want And you can get everything done your way at your pace. And you can communicate to people what those things are while you're playing it. So I think it's very compatible with Let's Plays. And it's a shame that more people don't play this game. That more people don't use this game as a vehicle for those kind of things. And instead, uh, they either don't play it at all or they might follow a specific route that someone else did. And they totally waste the potential of how personalized this game's experience can be from player to player. Um, The hardest part of this game, in my opinion, other than the various boss fights, they're all challenging in their own way, especially before you have the fierce deity mask that allows you to destroy everything that moves in a few seconds, especially if it's a boss. Uh, The hardest part of this game would have to be at least when it comes to playing the game i mean obviously one of the hardest parts of the game is uh, being able to get everything done that you want to get done especially if you're doing more than one thing at once Uh, there's so much that needs to be done and so little time you really don't you really get a sense of how short three days really can be when you're playing this game because you only have three days and there's so much that the world has to offer you and you and you want to do it all but it's so hard to get it all done you know what i'm saying but it doesn't make the game any less fun when you do it 
the other thing that's always been really cool about this game specifically is that the writing isn't that bad. The things people are written to say aren't too terrible, especially for something that was translated, which I think is nice. There are still obviously a lot of cliched things and bad puns and unfunny bullshit, but I think that overall it has relatively uh, tolerable writing, which I think is cool and nice. Plus, uh, obviously, you can make them say inappropriate things with Lang's name, which is always fun. One of the core elements of what makes old Nintendo games fun is your ability to do things that Nintendo did not intend for you to do. And then in later releases of games, they tried to prevent this, but obviously people are far too creative to be limited by simple things like sensors. And uh, I think that that's, that's always fun to, to have Zelda games say inappropriate things because you named Link a phrase or something inappropriate, or the Pokemon trainer is something inappropriate, and I think that that's great. I think it's fun when people do that. I don't personally do it, but it certainly doesn't uh, make the game any less entertaining when you do do it, so it's never a bad idea to do. I think that the fact that the Goron area, which is the only place where you can upgrade your sword in the game, allows you to succeed in this area and is designed for you to be able to succeed in this area without the sword is pretty cool because you know you can upgrade the sword and beat the temple at the same time and then come out of this area with the best sword that you can get though it doesn't necessarily do the highest damage i'm pretty i'm like 99 percent sure that the gilded blade does less damage than the razor sword so that's just food for thought. I mean, technically, I'm pretty sure you could use the Razor Sword to beat the game, but you don't get to keep the Razor Sword eventually. Mario ain't gonna show up to work and be like, Oh, sorry, employees. <laughs> so you hear that crying, you hear that wee. I have like a, I have like a half brother who can do like a perfect impression of this, and it, it's terrifying. So, like, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, you better get up there and say hello to that baby. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck babies. Only don't fuck babies. That's illegal. You know what I mean? Don't. Don't fuck babies. I'm being, I'm being real here. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna talk to this babble. He's got the stupidest fucking diaper. And he wants his dad, and you're not his dad. And he's still crying, and you're gonna blow up one of these things. Whoops. You just broke thousands of Goron dollars worth of vases. I don't even own these vases. These pots I'm breaking. Those are not- why is he still crying? Oh yeah, right, whenever you punch, he like, it restarts his crying thing. Here, watch. I don't know why. Why does that happen? Why does that fucking happen? Why did they put that into the game? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't. I, just, <laughs> I guess you could be a dad and cry really hard at him. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf, but uh, I've got some work to do, Mr. Wolf. Uh, based on what day it is and what time it is during that day, the uh, father is in different parts of the world, but that old ass Goron we looked at earlier, he's the dad. Hey, big crime baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh boy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what was I doing? Hurry. It's already this late. I must hurry. What? Oh, you're Darmani. But you're supposed to be dead. Blah, blah, blah. I've been made a fool of. That's impossible. Look at my bottom lip. Now you look so natural. Why do you know that? 
My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. I have work to do, Dermani. Be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination. I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my song to sleep. Song! It's the song, sleep son! And he pulls out his fucking dank ass drum, and here we go. A right, left, and he goes, huh? Uh, let me, let me try it again. Alright, here we go. Uh, we boom. Go. Boom, boom. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Alright, one more, one more. Boom, 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 boom. No good, I can only remember the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wait, that's the rest of the song. <laughs> Spoilers. Play a fucking video game, really. So this is a song that does something a little different, you know. We have the Sonata of Awakening, and now we got the Lullaby of Peaking Audio. I don't know why this audio is so loud, but this is one of the many things on the cartridge that is just loud as hell. The emulated one didn't have as many things peaking. That's how you know it's different. It's in general. Son of a fucking- Don't I have to save a baby? Don't even give me an excuse, wolf. I'm pretty sure you can kill a wolf in one hit as a Goron. You just have to wait until he turns around. So yeah, you don't really have to talk to the gatekeeper to open up the gate. You just gotta ground pound. Not sure if that's on purpose or not, but whatever. It doesn't matter. And no, it doesn't matter if you talk to him first, but you know, that was just so that people that aren't smart enough to know you can ground pound can do it, so that they know that it's their own fucking fault. Wang, away, away is my dad. Wang, My song my daddy plays and now I'm going to sing do it he's doing it oh I'm way behind on the stream I think only he, he, when he sings he goes wait I know how to fix that actually ladies and gentlemen the lullaby of sleepy deepies or the go on lullaby if you if you want to do it now, here's the thing about this song. Okay, it's a little it's a little unique. You know what I'm saying? The unique. There's a little something to some to, to people. It makes people get a little sleepy. For some reason, he thinks about being held by a, that big ass Goron guy, and then he gets a little sleepy. Ah, uh, just like daddy's right tight. And then sleepy deep. I guess that there you have it. Now since Link isn't a Goron, he isn't necessarily He's not gonna be affected by it and, and everyone else is asleep, you see? And they can't be woken up, even so the Gorons fall asleep, huh? Oh. Even if you do this. I mean, I could literally rob everyone, and that's what I'm going to do. I, th I don't know if uh, playing the song out here will make them, uh, that guy go to sleep or any of the other Gorons, because then they wake up when you come back in. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> fun fact, I'm gay. Oh. Well done. All right, so now it's time for the speed challenge. Here we go, speed run. Light it up. This is like a lot easier to do with the bunny hood, but I don't have it. You just gotta... And you climb it up. And you, you gotta light it up. Oh. 
There we go. I don't. What if and I then, decide not nope, to it's too late, I already did it. What if I decide to go like, later on, if I were to play? What if I decide not to light it up? Then you're no Nikki, uh, Nikki Russell, light it up. So, why is this significant? Why did I just do all of this? Why would you... What? Is there something wrong with me? Like... The answer is because we're gonna get something. But not just anything, I hope. This is the Goron shot, by the way. You can get... You can get bombs and arrows and a red potion here. And, and there's like a view of, of these crystals over here. I have no idea why. I don't know why that... I don't know why they made that. I've Like somebody sat in this engine and was like... I'm gonna make this addition to the room. And it's going to add nothing. It's going to do nothing. There's gonna be nothing there. There's gonna be room for nothing. We're not even gonna have fishing in the game, so it certainly isn't a fishing spot. But I'm gonna make it look like it is. So that people think that they can fish, but they can't. Bitch. Damn. Boom. First try after the second first try. You know what I'm saying? So now we can pick this bad boy up, you know, and we're gonna take it on a trip. Because we need to go back anyway, so... Might as well kill t -t -t two birds with one stone, motherfuckers. Dang. Too bad Phil doesn't do videos with you. He's the biggest boy. Oh, I think Phil would disagree. Wait, which Phil are we talking about? Which Phil you think we talking about, big boy? Well, I mean, there's two of them that you guys always talk about. I mean... What do you mean? There's like the Phil that you guys talk about that play games, and then there's the Phil that we make fun of. What? What Phil do we talk about that just plays the games? I don't know, you just go by Phil! What? Just go by Phil! Hey, that's not... Cal Phil Caldero is, is the guy I went to school with, and he's friends with Lyle. There and, you go. And he that's was... Nice. He was friends with this guy that was a piece of shit. And it was really funny because because he he did he said some real stupid stuff once. And one of my favorite things he ever said was that sanity not included was his idea. That was my favorite thing he said. Actually, it's my second favorite thing. My my favorite thing he ever said was when he called. Uh, he called Awiston when he used to frequent the internet before his mom Bible thumped him straight off of it. Um. He called him a vicious rumor weed. <laughs> Which is one of the funnier things I've ever heard because of how outlandish and stupid it sounds. So this guy has a fucking stupid head on his head. Whoa, up here! I'm sorry to bother you, I'm fucking hungry. Can you throw that up here? Here you go, big boy. Oh, that's a rock sirloin. <laughs> No, Phil didn't say it, Alex did. But... Nobody knows him because it wasn't actually his idea. Phil would say a lot of silly things. He had told a story once about a black guy who wanted money from him. It was a good day. Is this fucking game, like, really loud or is it just me? No? Not. It's just me. I went to college with Phil. Yeah. How do people not know that I went to college with Phil Caldera? The famous, the one, the only, the Phil Caldero, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Caldero. For the real. Now I'm about to do something that some would call irresponsible. But it, I call it efficient. And it's not going to be climbing up this wall without the lens of truth. <laughs> it's going to be a little something else. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why using the lens of truth is important. Because it's really hard 
I didn't beat him with a canoe. It's just one time he was peeing in the woods and he saw just... It was at a really odd hour of the night and there were just all these people in canoes and they all looked at him. At least that's what he thought they were doing. All right. Did I get to the dead end again? I think I did. No, I didn't. I just went the wrong way like a dingus. Well, I mean, I mean, he could have because Drew does run with canoe, but he could have said anything. He could have said swine flu. He could have said this could be true. He could have said Kalamazoo. Lots of uh, lovely music on this part, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what happened to the music. It seems to have stopped. Oh, right, because... The, the night is about to begin. That makes the music stop. Skookanoochoo. Skookachoo. Skookachoo your food. I could die from the fall damage, but... If I don't die from the fall damage... I'd find out I have to be a fucking Goron to do this? Whatever. My arm is long. Head off the center. <laughs> like clockwork, ladies and gentlemen. You're just gonna have to deal with the beeping for a little bit, alright? It's gonna be worth it. Don't worry. I see you've got a problem. Allow me to remedy it for you. Boom. <gasps> Boom. And then Vet goes. Damn. Is Vet okay? And then Max goes, cool no. your shit. My one piece is getting upset. Hey, you fixed our bullshit. Now, let me see that sword. Yes, please. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Alright, so until tomorrow morning, we are without a sword. We have no sword. Now, this is not a problem, because we have Goron Link, and he doesn't need a sword to fucking kill people, does he? I'm sorry. Uh, I, like, punched him, but it... He, like, blocked it? Damn. He, like, zero-wolfed my punch, you know? Yeah. Yo! Yo! Oh, there we go. Okay, no more beeps. Give me one whole cake. Excuse me? I don't remember asking for cake. I don't want to go that way. I'll take the cake. No, they said give Drew a whole cake. Yeah, I'll take it if you don't want it. Not give Popcron half a cake. Give me the cake. No, you're not gonna get the cake. cake. It's not gonna happen. So now we're at Stonehenge. Oh, no, 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 Chase Topics. I want the cake. Uh. You can't just tease me like this. Popcron, there's more to life than cake. I know, there's also brownies. Those are cakes. But, but they're different types. Holy fucking lord, how did I not just fall and die? Skill, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Luck? That is the oh. answer to, to, the, to, the, to the riddle. The answer to the riddle is my friend Serendipity, the pink dinosaur. Serendipity do, Serendipity do. Nobody watched that movie except for me. <laughs> Should be so proud. Oh. By the way, we don't have a sword. I don't think that there's any way for me to activate this statue. Nope, I need the sword to do that. But that's okay. What's that? There is something bellowing wind at us. If only we had some way... ...to put him to sleep. 
But yeah, um, Serendipity, the pink dinosaur, is a real movie, and it's really bad. Oh, I knew that. And you shouldn't and you shouldn't watch it unless you're like five and you don't and you don't know any better. Which is why when people come at me with this fucking Studio Ghibli bullshit and they're like, oh, it's so hard. I'm like, dude, you're like five. Get out of my <laughs> face. All right, you like fucking serendipity, the pink, f the pink, the pink I can't get married sword. All right, I don't want to hear it. You don't have good taste in movies. Go watch the Avengers, you fucking child. So, right. We's gonna, we's gonna get up this, oh, oh shit, that was scary for a second. We's gonna, we's gonna get up this map, right? We's gonna dodge the, now you can, in theory, roll up here and stay on it. But. Only in theory? Well, yeah, only in theory, because it's not a wise, because it's not a wise decision. Which means you have to do it. Oh, uh, and that's why, because you fall right off, but you have to roll on that part, because you can't walk across that. Go away, you snow bunnies. Fucking rocks. And then when you fall, it's also like the camera angle on this part is a little, I'm sorry, what? That's not supposed to happen, they're supposed to die there. I've got... I'm so... What's going on? I'm not supposed to be taking damage. I'm in spiked ball form, like... They should not be able to do that. There's something, like, scientifically wrong with that. They should not be able to hurt me when I'm in spiked ball mode. Doesn't matter though. They call me the cake master. But all I really want is cluck you chicken. Hey and welcome to Stonehead. Oh yeah, welcome to Stonehead. Uh oh. You can kill those guys by doing that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to push this big ass rock. Oh man. Alright, so. <clears throat> dead. One punch, one kill, ladies and gentlemen. The only way we can hurt anything is with a bow or with Koran Link. That's all we have right now for, for anything that's damaged. At all. So in this room, don't we love it now? We're not gonna really stay very long. So we gotta get the funk out of here. That requires a quick jump. And there it is, I made it. So, before we leave the room, there's uh, a couple things I'm gonna try to do here. One, I'm gonna free that fairy. Just because, you know, I'm, I'm a nice guy, you know, I want to free the fairy. So that's the first of the many green fairies we have to find. There are a couple of them in this room. Did so, they do anything for you? Yes. All but great. They, all of the fairies do something for you. What do they do? When you collect all of them, you get a power of a great fairy. Uh, 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 uh. So, as you can see, there are fairies in this room. Fairies! Fairies! Sorry. <clears throat> Funny reference. What's in New Jersey? Oh, cluck you. No, it's not only in New Jersey. I'm pretty sure it exists in other states. It's just the best one exists in New Jersey, obviously. So this room has a stupid puzzle in it where you become Goron Link and you move a block. And it's not even, like, easy mode move a block either, I might add. It's fucking stupid mode move a block. Like, you just move it in two lines, and, like, when you try to move it to the second line, it says, No, I'm a block! 
You don't understand. Now, of course, the first time you do this, you don't know any better, so you make the mistake of maybe moving it into one of these two other slots. But you're supposed to move it into the far slot. Nintendo figured that this would be fucking obvious, but uh, I guess not for some. As there were some that didn't know the sum of two is three, and two rights make a left. In here, we find a small key. This is important, because without it, we couldn't continue if we went another direction. So, where do we want to go next, you may be asking? Go back to the b -b -b blue door, right? Take off the mask, head over this way, do the sideways cartwheel jump. I live near a cluck you that's in somewhere nearby. I don't remember which one it is. There's like two that are really close to each other, by the way. Like, I just think that's so odd that there's two of the same restaurants that are extremely close to each other. It's like a Starbucks, but they're chicken restaurants. For those of you that haven't gone to a Cluck U or don't know what Cluck U is or why it has any kind of significance, Cluck U is kind of like Chick-fil-A without homophobia and better tasting food. Um, it also emphasizes spice in their hot sauces. They have a hot sauce that is so spicy that you have to sign a flyer because if you're not careful, it can put you in the hospital. So now that we've got the map, you'll see it in the bottom right corner. We can we can see where we're going. It's time to actually start uh, moving through this dungeon. Eaton Town? Yeah, I think there's one in Eaton Town. Yeah, I know about that one. Not only is it good tasting chicken, it's like actual chicken, and they'll fry it or grill it, and I prefer grilled chicken. Not just because it's healthier for you, but because it fucking tastes better. That- they always get me when they first spawn, by the way. But I always get them back. And then they hit me again. But I always get them back. Because I cheat. You know what? Because, because, because I, because I, ch because I cheat. Stop it. These fucking guys. Anyway, we need to find a button somewhere. Oh my god. Anyway, there's the button. Now we've made a chest appear. Congratulations, us. What does this do to free the starving children of Africa? Nothing. It does nothing to free them. So does it really matter in the long run? No. But that's okay. So now that we've uh, pretty much cleared out this room, I'm gonna go in here. And, uh, there should be a door in here or something. Because I can't get to that yet. I don't have the fire arrows. I don't have the fire arrows. Uh, we pretty much cleared out this room. I can't wait to get the compass so I can see where the fuck I'm going. Daisy boy. Excuse me. Alright, so we're getting back up the stairs, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we've pretty much cleared out everything that I need to do down there. So now you're wondering, well, now where the fuck do you go? Looks like everywhere's pretty much sealed off. Well, if you already forgot about the first fucking temple where you could light your arrow on fire by shooting it through fire, then I feel bad for you, son. Because I got 99 problems, but your stupid fucking brain ain't one, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go in for the kill on this guy. Go in for the... We're gonna go... We're gonna go... We're gonna go in for the kill on this guy. And then he dies. Great. And now we can go through this locked door because we have a, we have a small key. So now we can go straight over here. What's in the bit? What's what's in the bag? Mm -hmm. 
it's the compass. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. All right, so uh, we have a couple things we need to pull off here. We need to do two bombs. First bomb is the easy one. 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 As you can see, that was so easy. First try, cinch, not even a challenge. Nintendo games are for babies. Only the babies have trouble with that. anything in these games. I'm gonna pick up this one and throw it, and then this one and throw it, because we hate pots. Of course, oh, there we go, some arrows. That's what I wanted. So, there should be- yeah, there's the- there's the thing. We're gonna be doing another puzzle with that bad boy later. But for the- for the meantime, we're gonna take off our shit. What console do you have? I have many console. So now, once again, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, what the fuck do you do here? You got fucking ice everywhere, Durox. The answer is, blowing in the wind. That's right, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. You gotta... You gotta knock the ice down. You remember how you got into this area, right? You shot ice and it fell? Oh, you know how Nintendo doesn't like to make new content, so they just make the same thing again. Here it is. Smash Brothers Melee Brawl. Oh, boy. Super Edition for the PS4. Extended Content Edition. The Naked Snakes. Twin Snakes. Alright, so... You'll notice that there's like... This... This. There, you notice that there's this. I don't even have to look in there, okay? There's... There, you, you can go in there. There's something in there. You walk through... You can't see. How do you see? You turn on your truth. And ta-da, it's a box. The hidden box. There will be many of these in this dungeon. It's a pretty core mechanic, and as you can see when you, you get inside, and once you dig in, you're gonna have yourself a good time. And once you dig in, Let's put that there. We don't really need the ocarina for anything in this dungeon. Except like maybe slowing down time or something. Small key. This is significant because literally in the same fucking room, we've got to unlock a door. <laughs> so. Nope. <laughs> literally. So now we can stand on this, right? Or we can do that. So that does that, and then we take off the mask. Oh boy. And we have to get on this plot, and uh, hit it. So now, we don't have to do that button puzzle anymore, okay? You're welcome. No, actually, it's a... Uh, this is so that we can knock this, right? Actually, we're not really supposed to do it that way, but... but we're gonna do it that way. So as you can hear, you still have, like, the timer going off. Gotta be careful. Alright, so we're all set. And, before we leave the room, I'm pretty sure that we have a surprise up top. If I remember this area right. Let's see if I do. We do have a surprise up there. I was right. Problem, my bad. Is 
confused and there's supposed to be a fairy coming to me. Okay. Good. Anyway, I've got a dungeon to solve. So, we've gotten out here. Gotten all the fairies that we could uh, we could get, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get ready to jump the gap. I'm just kidding, we've got something over there I think I can get into. Right, I'm gonna get in there later. That's after another point in the game. That's actually one of the last fairies we're going to get because of where it's located. And how to get there, for that matter. Alright, so getting past these points is not difficult. Just have to stay on the snow. Feel me? So now you can jump across, right? And you can get there. Or you can just walk right in here. Oh, I got a message. Right. Oh yeah, right. There's a there's a couple things I want to do in here. The first thing is I want to take off my Goron mask and I want to dodge this guy. And then you see J -j -j jumping puzzle. Has Mario truly mastered the jump, or was it Link the whole time, or was it Singed the whole time? to be removed afterward. Anyway, we are all set there. Sometimes you just gotta answer text messages, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like a question you should ask Tom when he gets here. Wayo. Hey Tom. Uh, there's someone in my stream who wants to know if GameStop still trades Xbox and PS3 games for the, for the Xbox One and PS4. Um... I nope. didn't think so. They, Welcome I don't to think the they ever did that. that those, those are usually uh, promotions that they did for like, uh, like in on the console itself. So like if you're in Battlefield 4, that came out before the Xbox One and PS4. And then when PS4 and Xbox One came out, you could do like, you could do something like on the system itself. That way you'd still be using that same disc, but you'd have the downloaded version of it instead. You'd have to use that disc to access the downloaded version of the game. That's cool. There you have it, folks. Oh no, now he's running in circles. I'm actually going to GameStop in 20 minutes for the midnight launch of Smash I'm going tomorrow at 7 a.m. Oh, that is him. Because uh, the GameStop I uh, frequent, um, the, pro the, the, the Modern Warfare 3 it, midnight it, launch it. ruined it for everybody. I, um, Wait, I was standing happened? on top of the chair. The, the plaza that the GameStop's in got trashed during the Modern Warfare 3 launch, so now we have to have police, so, so now we have to have police consent uh, to do Wow. Events. Wow. But, that sucks. That just shows you how fucking retarded people are these days. No yeah. respect for anything. It's disgusting. Yep. Humans are animals. Especially when they're white and privileged. So check it at the door, animals. I doubt it, but if you're still streaming at midnight, I may join back in. I guess it depends on how long this section goes for, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, now that we have the fire arrows, storing Max Durox and sometimes Popcron. Only sometimes. I didn't hear what Tom said. He said that they don't. And that 
Humans ruined everything. I guess that you guys are quiet. Let me see if I can fix that. Well, I'm just far away from my mic. Yeah, but Tom is quiet, and that's the human. There you go, Tom. Now when you talk, everyone can hear you. Right? Right? Yay! You're welcome. Also, I am lagging like shit. That's what happens when you stream on a Wii. You lag. Next game I'm gonna be getting after Smash Brothers is Bayonetta 2. It's gonna be so much fun. Well, uh... Alright. Hopefully I won't get that issue anymore. Because all I heard was... Sometimes you'll let. <laughs> I was I was saying that the next game I'm getting after Smash Brothers is Bayonetta 2 because I've heard because apparently it comes with the first game which is always a plus since I never played yep. the first and supposedly it's really good so I also never made it for uh, for, uh, for Nintendo systems oh, the original? Just, yeah they never they never well because it wasn't the Wii wasn't powerful enough Oh, okay. You should see Wii's version of Xfinity or whatever it's called. Disney Infinity? Disney Infinity, yeah, that's what it is. That is, oh. it is abysmal. The Wii version. It's, it's like, so sad. I think the Wii U version is probably good. It probably should be. It, it better but be. But the Wii version, on the other hand. The Wii, I am talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It was shit. You want, you want to sound kind of funny? They made okay. FIFA. They 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 made FIFA 15 for 3DS and Wii, but not Wii U. Wait. Yeah. Well, they couldn't think of a way to be incorporate the screen, so Nintendo said, "Fuck it." Does it make sense? No, oh, EA just pretty much swears off of anything Nintendo nowadays. I mean, like, look at Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. That didn't use the the touchpad at all. So for this puzzle, you've got to push the button. Only games I have currently for the Wii U are Mario Kart and New Super Mario Brothers. And oh my god, you want me to list off all the games I have for Wii U? Too many? Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Hyrule Warriors, Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker HD, Pikmin 3, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, uh, New Super Mario Brothers, Nintendo Land, Mario Kart, Rayman Legends, Sonic Lost World, uh, Super Mario 3D World, and Wii Party U. Oh yeah, this is the ghost room where the ghost attacks you with pots. Would you recommend Hyrule Warriors at $60 or no? At $60, yes. At any more, no. Which I'm assuming is what people are selling the, the Scarf version online for. Scarf version? <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, it's basically a collector's edition that comes with Link. Scarf. 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 Version of the game. Oh, play. I call it the Scarf version. Well, Scarf. I hated the wonderful 101. I heard good things Max about that. Max is gonna be but... upset about that. Well, Max swears by Platinum every time he gets a chance. So that's I because mean... it's his favorite company. Like, that's literally his favorite thing in gaming. Yep. Platinum that I got a mind uh, I, got, I, like, I like I like some of Platinum's games work, but Wonderful 101 was awful. Uh, I think that the the idea of Wonderful 101 would be nice if it wasn't already done with DC Universe and we already knew it was terrible. <laughs> yep. Or Pikmin. It's basically DC Universe combined with Pikmin. Oh. Two two games that should not be combined. Uh, yep. I'll, I'll look up that game before I think of purchasing it because I want to get more games for my Wii U. It's fun. Hyrule Warriors is definitely a good one. I haven't been able to play it that much because I've been doing let's plays of other things. Yeah, I need to start recording stuff for the Wii U. I think I'll start with Bayonetta when that comes out. Because mm -hmm. Mario Kart is just kind of like, that's not really fun on single player. And Super Mario Brothers is just not that great of a game, in my opinion. New Super Mario Brothers? Or Super Mario 3D World? World. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers. So. I, think it's, I, I think it's better as like a party game with, uh, with multiple people. Just because yeah. like the game more or less was really not made for it. So it's a lot more fun that way. Yeah, plus, I mean, I've played it before. I played the original New Super Mario Brothers, and I mean, it's just... The one for DS or the one for Wii? Uh, DS. Okay. The one so, for Wii had multiplayer as well. Yeah, because it, it was a bit different, but, like, they didn't have the big mushroom, which turns you humongous. They didn't have the mega mushroom in it, yeah. They, uh, they had a lot of the Koopas in this one. 
rather than Koopa, the... you're a lousy leader. Rather than, like, all the variety of bosses, like the Piranha Plant and... Or, no, it wasn't the Piranha Plant. It was, like, Petey the Piranha? I don't remember. Petey the Piranha, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, do you, what do you mean, Petey? Was Petey Piranha in uh, New Super Mario Brothers? Uh, I think he was... Yeah, I think he was. Wasn't he? He was a boss. I'm pretty... He was a boss in Mario Sunshine. I don't remember if he was in Petey. Yeah, I know in Mario Sunshine. Petey Piranha. Of course my friends are nerds. They play video games. New Super Mario Brothers... I want to kill my yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, he, he was in there. That's a Drojo. Uh, World 5. Huh. If you had friends with games, then you'd have friends that are lame. <laughs> it rhymes because video games are for losers. Smiley face. <laughs> I have to... Bayonetta 2, Hyrule Warriors. Um... Probably Mario Party, what, 10? When it comes I out? Hate yeah, when that comes out. Yeah. That's video it. games. I feel like Mario Party 10 is not going to be good on your own. Oh, no, not you're at all. You're definitely going to be game. able to play it with, yeah. That's a party game. I know that for a fact. But I'll still probably Shit, I didn't get mean it. to do that. Oh. Ooh. This is odd. It's okay. Uh, I can just Deku Shrub my way back. God damn it. We're buddies. We're buddy because we're funny and we're nutty. Why can't I get in the Deku Shrub? Leave. Yes. Hmm. You can actually let go of the A button as long as you press it down again before it's too late. But it's never too late. It's never too late. And there you have it, friends. We've done it all, except for one room. And it's not this one. <laughs> it's I the don't blue give one. A fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Right? That song? It's not. Mash go on that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to video games. Video games, and mash go on that follow button if you're not already following Durex. And don't forget to follow Tom on Tom Fox's stream. He streams a lot more often than I do. It's animation. He does that too sometimes. One time he animated not, not something. Much, not, not much. Not so much recently. He should. Yeah, but I'll, I'll get on that. To. And all my should. stuff is worthless. That's because you don't do anything. I do stuff, just no one. You knows. don't play any games anyone likes. You Sims awesome. 4. Everyone likes Sims 4 now. Now you're just pretending that they oh, like it. That's popular right now. I love like playing Sims 4. You see? I'm I'm bad at it though because I'm juggling th six people and it's starting to get stale because of how repetitive it's become. See? One second. Give me one second. See? Alright, I'm going to press the down button. Get it? Because it said down, even though it was the A button. Uh, uh, uh. Um, oh. I have to shoot it from this angle. Sorry. See? Right. See? But, like, with Sims 4, I'm just playing as my Sim right now, and. Uh. Crazy shit has been happening. Uh, apparently, fireplaces can set you on fire just by standing next. You didn't know that? Nope. I was just. Apparently, I had a sources in my of house. fire set you on fire. But like they weren't even standing in it. It just they were standing next you to can't me. Can't explain all sudden, that. All of a sudden, Max just burst into flames, and I got really scared. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna show off the fact that I'm a subscriber. Oh. Nope. He subscribed to, to Tom, so he gets the Tom emote. If you're jealous, you should be. There's only one way to stop the jealousy, and that's to subscribe to Tom Fox. It's the only way. I forgot to mention, I don't know if I ever... That's like his tagline. Sune has the, uh... Has the Lyle one. <laughs> the puckered lips and gigantic eyes. Hell Isn't yeah. Isn't that based on a picture Jesse made? Yes. It's a Photoshop, Red yes. Gay wants it. Watch my crap webcam. Okay, what's that come? 
I don't know if I ever congratulated you on the partnership. So if I didn't, congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, so Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, God. I think it was Max that kept playing that congratulations thing over and over. I love that, though. Uh, but it was it just Sarah so I cannot wait for Tom to play a specific video game. On purpose. That, that's gonna be tomorrow from noon Eastern Standard Time to midnight Eastern Standard Time. Same Tom time. time. Same Tom channel. Same Tom place. Ooh. Same Tom place. Tom time. Tom time. Tom. We might have Lyle as a guest. I just need to see who else I'm gonna have on as guest. Lyle and Kyle yelling. No. This is an odd question for you to ask. I saw that vine of uh, me and Lyle yelling just in general because I made it. Mm, called out. What was it? Serenity. It was, it was the Serenity series. Serenity now, Serenity oh. now, Serenity now. Right. It doesn't make it calm, that just bottles it up! I love that episode of Seinfeld. S -s 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 Seinfeld. Serenity now! Wait, I always thought he like knew someone named Serenity. And he was asking for her to come in. No, oh, he was just trying to uh, settle his uh, anger issues. Right, that's what I do. I say serenity and then, now, uh, and it does enough. And then it turned out that it, it all did was it bottled up the anger, and he like started going nuts. Um, I don't really think anyone's ever watching any of my streams, so to me, no one's watching. If that answers your question. So mean to yourself. Fifty thousand people are watching this. He's breaking. Uh, he's breaking a lot of Twitch records right now. Yeah, not today or ever. Person with the least amount of followers. Oh boy. I have like five followers, I think. Uh, you, have, you, have, you have eight. Don't sell yourself short. I have eight. It's like having five, but three more. <laughs> I actually have to get going because I'm going to be heading out soon. Hurry up, so or you're going to miss it. Hurry up. Go I'm not going to miss anything. Hurry up, you're going to miss it. Later tonight, if you're still on, otherwise. He's going to miss it. Some other day. I'm not going to miss it. Go to bed. He's, he's already missing it. Hosting the call. Hosting the call. Uh, climbing a ladder. I'm climbing a ladder. Ooh. Marley and Marley. It's okay. I'll stand by you. It doesn't really matter how many of my fans stand by me if I have no money. It's all I about the money. Well, I mean, what can you do without money? Play free games, and I'm not about that life. All right, I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, thanks for giving me all this money that you've been giving me for my online videos. Here's Town of Salem. I, I'm gonna give you guys games you gotta pay for. You know, like it's, it's like premium content, yo. This game ain't free. She <laughs> didn't know what I'm. Oh Jesus, not this fight. Oh God, no. Anything but this fight. This is the worst fight. This is literally the worst. How is this other one not hitting me with snowballs? There it is. See? That's, that's why it's the worst, because you get hit with one, one snowball and it looks really f I don't know why that was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh no, not this fight. It's the worst fight out of them all. Uh, okay. And then it was just over. Hello, Rhea. That's my GF, yo. Samus underscore 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 Aaron. The many underscores. Of Samus Aaron. The life and times of Samus Aaron. Samus! You don't even have to see that, but if you use the lens of truth, you can... You can look in there. Unless, now, if this was emulated, that wouldn't work. You're playing this uh, old school? I've got my N64 right next. Good times. Good I, got, time. I got an Xbox the other day. Oh, Jesus. It's Lizard Man fight, and I don't like, have a sword. Like, not a... What do you mean you don't have a sword? 
I gave it to the guy who turns it oh, into a Oh, right. right. So you're doing this. Wow, you're doing this pro bono. Because it's not hard. It's just, you kill them. Man. Did you turn to a Goron and just, uh, yeah. and just start beating them? Yeah. That's all you have to do. And then you win. See? It was that easy. That's why I like, I like this dungeon. So, when it comes to combat. So. Okay. Combat. Oh, I made. Oh no, I made a boo boo. Just kidding, I am boo boo, Yogi. I don't know, Yogi. I don't know, Yogi. Did you get the food yet, Yogi? I'm fucking starving, Yogi. Of course, Samus with less underscores and Samus with more underscores. Fuck this fucking... That's rude. <laughs> rude Goldberg that machine? Was, that was literally rude. What rude. this game just did. That what was did, what did it do? If you watch the stream, you'll see. It. It's, it's rude. <laughs> like, oh, let me spawn you in this room, and if you take one step and backwards to position yourself, well, you might as well just say goodbye. Alright, so are you taking a step back to the- Oh, and you walk down the stairs by accident. That was rude. Rude Goldberg machine. This is gonna take a second, viewers. Uh oh, did you not make it? No, no, no. It's just- this takes a second. This takes a second. This takes a second. Here it is. This is how we do it, baby. I'm sorry, what? I like how you can fly indefinitely as long as you don't go outside uh, a certain range. You do descend though slowly, so. Real. So I don't quite understand what you're doing. You don't understand? You don't remember? I haven't played this game forever. I'm getting to the to a fairy. Oh. Do you need the fairies to progress? No. Okay, it's just to get extra stuff. It's to get uh, double the magic bar. I'm pretty sure that it's that. I'm pretty sure that that's where I want to be. Right down there. Beverly Hills. Don't go there. I do not want to be alive. I should probably, uh, I should probably get on getting another e or uh, working on another emote. Oh, I'm going to say email. I think that this is where I'm going, right? Email. Go! I think that this is where I want to go. Truth be told, I don't remember that well. And if I do this wrong, on oh, I did it right. So now I just need to find a PNG image of a banana. A PNG image of bats. Take the wings off the bat. Put them on the banana. Okay, so... And it's a fruit bat. It's a fruit bat. It's, it's a fruit, fruit bat. bat. Fruit bat, fruit bat, fruit bat. Yo, Hitler fruit bat. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, after you do that, guess what? Start the dungeon over. You're welcome. Singular banana. Singular cell phone banana. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Singular banana, singular. Banana, 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 banana phone. It comes in bunches. I've, I've got, got a, my haunches. It's the best. It's the rest. Cellular modular interactive modular. Ring ring. Is better. You better ask. But I default. A ding a dong a ding a dong a ding dong a ding. Banana phone. It's no baloney. It's it ain't not a phony. a phony. My cellular 
But annular phone. That's right. And it goes back. Thanks, Richard Cheese. You're the best. Oh, that wait, Richard Cheese did that one? Of course he did. Did not know that. I mean, his name I is knew him. I, I knew him Dick for, Cheese. I know, but I knew I've only <laughs> I only knew him for his uh for his uh lounge lounge singing of uh down with a sickness. Oh. Well, you can dome in the morning, you can dome in the night, you can dome when you want to dome. You can dome. <laughs> That's one of my favorite out. things, and it's just Come a skit. Get down with the sickness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're oh. thinking. We certainly don't have to do another boss fight. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? Yes, we do. <gasps> he faked you out. And we're gonna do it. Right now. Especially not right now. <laughs> Jeez, you hey, were Tom, on do you recognize my name from anywhere else? Says Samus many underscores around. I'm taking that as a no. No, I do not. <laughs> Other than Metro. <laughs> I was I was thinking other than well minus the underscores uh, in, from Metroid. Wow, that's a really good spot to appear, Mr. Sorcerer. What did this start? Also, the audio is synced by like a second. That's because capturing is a very imprecise technology. Because I'm gay, and if you don't like that, then you better start working for Chick Fil A. You put some really bizarre stuff in this game. Yes, they did. Shit. I've been pulling a Rust Black Dragon and I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem lately. Oh. Yeah, but you're not, like, playing Fire Emblem, so to say. I'm getting pretty invested in their stories. <laughs> when? Did you know that in Fire Emblem, they didn't have to do the dishes? Harry Bush! <laughs> That's still one of my favorite fucking things. And it was Wait, from a fucking mission. I mean, Wait, what happened? It was during, um, one of... I forget... I forget what, uh... What the... I don't know if it was, like, Brawlgasm, or if it was Dexter's... But they had a Rost character in it. Jesus. And, and he what? was like, Did you know that in Fire Emblem, they didn't have to do the dishes. What? <laughs> it's just such a what? funny. It's such a funny line for it's those. So, wrong it's reasons. so out of place, though, for any context. Yep, that's why it's so great. Is that whenever I quote it, it doesn't fit anywhere. It Did doesn't you even know fit. That fire emblem. They didn't have to do the dishes. <laughs> I should probably look up. Particularly, I should look up fruit bat. It's a fruit bat. Because I need the fruit bat's wings. Good idea. A winged fruit bat is a happy fruit bat, viewers. All right, ladies you and gentlemen, it's time to fight goat. <laughs> goat. Sorry. Sorry. It's hard for me to pronounce goat's name without saying it that way. <laughs> goat. Goat. <laughs> Damn it. There is a way that you can put on your Goron mask before the arrow hits. I did not do that. It's Harry, Harry Bush. Harry Vagina. Rudy's got the chalk. Rudy's got the chalk. The chalk, the Gort. chalk, the chalk. Gort's awake. Oh no. I've been attacked by a goat. What? Oh no, you have been attacked by a goat. By a goat? Oh no. I better attack the goat, man. You better attack that goat. Don't run into the rocks, or you'll be don't, an upset oh, boy. Oh, don't run into the goat, either. Oh, you need to run into the goat. Oh, don't run into the goat. I tell you now, don't run into goat. I'm running into the goat. You want to run in, You want to run into a goat? It's a bad idea. I'm trying to trip him up. All right, now all I gotta do... Now all I have to do is Photoshop the bat off of the bat... <laughs> the, the bat off of these wings. Ah, good oh, idea. Lord. My cellular, but I will follow. 
Alright, we're almost in the last part, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're thinking. What? Already? Yeah, we're pretty much almost there. Oh man, I hate this. I hate when like you almost build it up and then you lose it. But I brought it back. As you can see, he's already smoking, so. Soiled it! So now's when like his shots actually home onto you and hit you. Makes That's him pretty dangerous. I mean, that can't really be good for his health. Of course not. That's why you know he's about to die. Scooks! Scooks. Like, man, am I glad that he's out there and we're in here! And we're in there and he's the sheriff! And we're in there and I just remembered that we're out here and what I want to know is... Where's the caveman? <laughs> <laughs> Was that from Skooks? Yeah, it's from Skooks, where they have, like, the caveman inside of a ice block. Man, am I glad that he's in there and we're out here. And he's the sheriff, and we're in there, and I just remembered that we're out here, and what I want to know is, where's the sheriff? And then he, like, and then it just shows, like, Shaggy with a big blunt. <laughs> Hold on. How do you spell Skooks? S-K-O-O-K-S. Skooks. Scoops! He can't control it! Oh yeah, he also starts which, throwing bombs. Which which misadventures of Scoops was this? It was either the- it was one of the first ones, I think. One of the early ones. Misadventures uh, of Scoops. Oh, oh my god, out. I hate this. Days of the boss. It's literally the worst. There is nothing that Goat does that I enjoy during this boss fight at all. Oh One god. The most annoying the boss fight. Genesis Evangelion opening with Scooby Doo. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Oh, finally. Scoops! <laughs> My favorite episode is the first one. That's one of the best ending. It starts off so strong. That's right. Rayo was there when we did that. Together. Alright, heart container. We've increased our maximum health. Guts hit? We have guts hit? Ladies and gentlemen? Gut? Let's done do this. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I think Mario was over his dad. I think this cutscene is unskippable and has too many bu -bu -bu bubbles in it. Where are all of you? We are in the mountains and the swamp and the sea and the desert. You must find us. Damn it! <laughs> Shaggy's disguised as like the do dude with the dog. <laughs> lucky I'm a dog lover. Lucky for you, I'm a dog lover. Lucky for you, I'm a dog lover. Lover, lover. No way! I'm a dog lover. I'm a fruit bat. I'm a fruit bat. <laughs> So everyone's all cold, right? And they're like, oh, I'm so cold. Oh, no. Oh, I sure hope nobody kills Goat. It makes it warm. That'd be stupid. And what happens? It's warm. So fuck you, Goron. I don't know why he sounds so... He sounds like so sad at first. Like, oh, so you're oh. protective gods. Hey, man. It's warm. <gasps> what? 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 My thoughts on Ebola. It's contagious, and I don't want to get it. Thank you. Bees? Bees! Bears! Bears? Dreamin', don't give it up, bee. Dreamin', don't give it up, bees! Dreamin', don't give it up, bears! Oh, that was... that was a time. I love the shivering animation for the Gorons. I kept you waiting, didn't I? Ta-da! The Razor Sword! 
This is the strongest sword in the game. It also has the shortest thing. Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you dun, waiting. Dun, 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 dun. Dun dun dun. So let's go back to the Goron village. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I thought it was like fucking springtime. Why is there still snow? Uh, it takes time to melt. Isn't it? Isn't it like? So, well, that's because this way is Snowhead, and Snowhead will never melt. Now, does that stay like that even if you go back in time, or do you have to do that every time? You have to. It only. Time. Yeah, you have to go. If you go back in time, you have to kill um, go, go again in order to do it. Yeah. Uh, what about the? Uh, what about that other? Like, if you have the gold dust, what is uh? Like, what's the sword that can make you? If you have gold. You get the gilded sword. Right. The g g g g g g g g Now, what is what's better, the razor? As far as damage goes, what's better, the razor sword or the, the gilded razor sword? sword does the most damage for swords in the game, but you can only hit stuff 100 times. Right. It is possible to beat the game within 100 slashes. Is that because of course, are you gonna try and beat it with the razor sword? No. But basically, the Razor Sword makes Link's attacks with the sword as powerful as a Goron hit. Um, and your Jump Slash is even more powerful than that, I'm pretty sure. It's ridiculous how much damage you can do with it. But the Gilded Sword has longer reach. Donald and Tusk. Donald Tusk. That was a moment in time. Use your powder cake. This one's on a time limit. Get up on the Hydra's back. Get up on the Hydra's back. Jump upon a marrow whack. Should the banana, should the fruit bat banana have bright yellow wings? Of course. What a silly question. Does the fruit bat not bat his enemies away? When does, he he not, does he not fruit bat? Does he not eat the fruit? Fruit bat, fruit bat, fruit bat, bat, fruit bat, fruit bat, fruit bat, bat, fruit bat, fruit bat, fruit bat, bat. Where do you have to carry that bomb again? I have to bring it to the racetrack. It's the only place in which this bomb is to be placed. This bomb is to be placed, to be placed. Stuck inside, 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 stuck inside, instead. I sucked inside, inside, instead. I have a little secret. I have It'll a little really, penis. That'll really make him cry. It's a it's nasty, nasty kind of magic for a special kind of guy. This book. This book, 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 book. So I know what you're thinking. We really gotta fucking bring this shit up here and wait for it to blow, 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 blow up. <laughs> of course not. We have bombs. So if you take a bomb and you put it over there and you put up the shield, you kill the, the baby and the baby is dead because the baby was way too close to the explosion. Can you kill the child with that? No. Or? No, oh. but uh, it looks like it, it does, because it disappears. It looks like he was launched into another hemisphere. <laughs> which he should have been. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> Ridiculous. So now you talk to him, and he goes, Hey, Dami, you want to go in the race? Oh, boy. Your magic power runs low. You can shit on me. <laughs> Let's see. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> He's gone. He's completely gone. <laughs> it looks really funny. It is. <laughs> and we're going to go. Now this race is made a lot easier if you get your magical power power up. But that's for casuals. Okay. That's for lame ones. Suckers. So you want to talk about, like, bullshit rubber banding? Uh, yeah. This race 
is bu -bu -bu bullshit. And yeah. shit like that happens, which... Of, like, of like Mario Kart proportions? No, much worse. This is, like, prototype Mario Kart kind of shit. Like, they slow down to a crawl when you're not in your ball form, but once you get ahead of them, it, it's, it's fucking stupid how fast they catch up to you. Can you, and then, can you, t can you take them out? No. They're wow. invincible. I mean, I see you, you guys hitting each other and you're glowing red, so I only assume. And, and they also get... They, they... They can fuck everything, and you can't. I forgot pizza. I could think if one of them ran into a bomb, they'd get upset and just give up. But no, they don't. They don't go on tilt. These guys just go as fast as they can, and they break all the fucking pots. Look at that one. That one just knocked me out of fucking super form for no reason. Oh, and then I fell because I couldn't outrun them. And then they slow down. It's like rude. It's just plain rude. Oh great, I didn't need those pots anyway. That's the worst part, is that they blow up the pots. Do they have to do that just to fuck you over? Like, that's not cool, man. I lost the race again. You can't run hey, fast? I can't roll faster! You can't roll any faster than that! That's the fastest you can go. I... I don't know. This is... this is not easy. Wow, okay. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, game. What the fuck? Why does it explode when I do that? Or maybe I just never noticed that there was an explosion sound when they all go into ball form? Oh, that'd be nice if they just got stuck in a fucking loop of hitting each other. I have to get the magic. But then I have to run into them. Because they... They guard the magic mill. They're the... Guard. Oh, okay, great. Yep, the galaxy. Was, I lost it. I lost the race. I got bumped out of Super Bowl for them. You need the big waste at the end of the race? You can't race in this race. It's too dangerous. Stop bumping into me, you fucking assholes. You would get fucking disqualified if, if you bumped into people like this in a real race. But this isn't real. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to walk on uh, G to the double G. Now, if I can stay this close to him, I'll be able to pass him at the end, but then he speeds up at the end, so I have to be careful. Watch for the rubber band, and I won. Okay. Whew. Fucking finally. Holy shit. Here's the best part. You gotta do it again. I got some... a go 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 Now that also gets you another bottle, ladies and gentlemen, because you get it in a bottle. I got this gold dust in a bottle, and I'm gay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is... I'm not going to take any of this shit for granted. And uh, I'm going to, uh, turn this shit in. <laughs> and that he's the sheriff? Like, I'm sure glad he's frozen in here, and he's the sheriff, and we're out here. 
and we're out here and we're frozen out here and we're in there and he's the sheriff and i just remembered that we're where is the there. caveman like what i want to know is where's the caveman <laughs> You bet I have gold dust. But not only do I have gold dust, I have <sighs> gold dust. What I want to know is where's the caveman? Like what I want to know is where's the caveman? <laughs> okay. So tomorrow morning, we'll have a sword. If you don't come back. You will never have a sword for the rest of the game. Do not forget. Do not forget to, uh, to get your sword. Four times? Uh, there's one you have to play three times, and that's the Darling and Honey. You have to play that three times, one on each day, to get a... I was gonna say the one like... The one with the bomb shoes and the bombs in the basket and bombs in the barrel. Oh yeah, that one too. There's also the Deku Shrub thing that Max never bothered to do. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, fuck them. Uh, I'm the best. I'm the best. Okay. So Sorry, we're gonna... Is this pizza? Oh. Where does uh. he get it? Maybe it's me. Soon we're gonna get the hookshot on the next uh, session, so we'll be able to get all those golden skeletons. And that'll be cool. When you when you uh, grab the moon. What? When you grab the moon. Uh, not even close to uh, grabbing the moon. Then the, then the one dude goes. If you have to stay out, you end up around two. Uh, you are uh, you're a cheater. <laughs> so he sends the second day. All right, so now we we're at the night of the second day. Shrimp dudes, what the? F are you talking about the beavers? I don't even know what you're talking. I'm sorry to hear that you couldn't sleep, please, because uh, we're going to be stopping soon. Like, pretty much I'm going to get my super sword, and then that's, like, all I can really do at this point. Except, I mean, I'll get one more mask. There's still one more mask I can get, I guess, since I have the Lens of Truth. Okay, until then, dog. Look, I've got the sword. I got the gilded sword. And now I don't have to upgrade my sword anymore. Let's head for the mall, shop. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Ah, ooga, 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 chaka. I remember that song. Let's go to Snowhead and hit the or, and hit the owl statue. Let's go to Skooks and hit the Skooks. Skooks, 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 Skooks. <laughs> Wow. Hooked on a Skooks. Hooked on a Skooks. Smell like a Skooks. I'm lost and I'm Skooks. And I'm hungry like Skooks. And I'm hungry like this toucan just fucked my ass and I, I, there was nothing I could do. Because I didn't realize There was he nothing, was nothing gonna you do could it. do, nothing you could do. Nothing you could do, do, nothing I thought, you could do. I thought I'd get by him. I was wrong. Okay, and where's fine. the caveman? Like, where's the caveman? Then where's the caveman? Like what I want to know is, where's the caveman? <laughs> Take off the mask. Oh look, it's the giant Goron guy that we we made him fall down. I thought you gave him the bomb. What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Why am I sitting in a place like this? Did somebody? <laughs> say Wait, was that what he actually said? Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll turn in the fucking fairies. Relax. Oh, Jeez. Oh, I was gonna wait day. until the final did get, night. Did you get your, uh, your, your powder? Did you get your powder? Did you get your powder? Oh my god, there's the second moon! Did you get the gold dust? Yeah. Oh, you're talking to the second moon! <laughs> the Goron? 
That's the second moon. Second sun, second moon. Take a so, dump of the this toys is the, this is the flush green it fairy. down when you are done. And this is one of my favorite power-ups because it's so useful to have the power-up that she gives you. The magic? The double magic power bar. Oh, that's so good. Here it comes. Uh, uh, it's gonna hit you like a brick. There it is. That's so useful, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, hookers don't look like that. Uh, second of all, you can't... Okay. Calling a woman a hooker because of the clothing that she's wearing or not wearing is disgusting, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, snap! It's like, no. Oh, Let's be oh I've got, wow, I've got four emoticons now. Oh, right. Sure is easy to get those things when you can make them. I'm looking at you people that don't make your own emoticons and then complain about how little you have. Uh, ticket name. Where is the... Where is, like, the sub-symbol thing? Right underneath the yellow sub. Marine. We all live in the yellow sub. And I'm not Mr. Clean. You should feel bad. Like, that's that's really problematic thinking. Ironic or not, <laughs> there are people that do that unironically, and it's very problematic. For many people, not just the women that are singled out by it. Where the fuck do I submit this? What? What? To Twitch. Courteously. <laughs> Eight, two, five. Wow, okay. I like randomly jerked to the left, that wasn't cool. Like it looked like I was going in a straight line. The game was like, nope, you're going left. Jerk into the right, here I am. Oh, I couldn't stop. I even turned sideways to try to stop faster. That isn't how it worked. The physics in this game, they don't care. They don't care what way you're facing. I don't care what way you're facing, you're gonna fall. It's that simple. Oh my god, this wall is the fucking bane of my existence. Uh, I, it's so easy for me to get over this when I don't want to go to bed. God, turn into a Goron, curl up in a ball, and get over it. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Don't forget the powder cake thing. The what? Someone said in the chat, don't forget the powder cake thing. Oh, you want me to blow that up too? I guess I could. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where to get across that ravine, Drew? Hey, that wall is the bane of my existence. Yeah, but it just helped me. <sighs> Holy shit! Whoa, it's death! It's hell. I'm in hell. Wow. Well, hell was pretty short lived. Uh. Not the- not- Skooks! Skooks! And for some reason when you die that way, you turn into regular Link. That's it, annoying. So you have to transform again. Those wolves appearing like that will throw you off and you'll fall into the water accidentally. Powder keg in town? You can't buy powder kegs in town, you have to go here to buy them. Hey, Zervet. Are you a vet fan? Do we have vet in your name? Zervet? I know Zervet. Zervet has this. Hmm. Yeah, there's no certificate. Um, Pretty sure Zervet is, is one of my subscribers. He might be. It ain't my first time. That's why it was so outlandish when that guy's like, you need to get a certificate to use the powder keg. Like, uh, maybe you're confusing this with Ocarina of Time or something? Wow, okay. More yep. trampoline walls, ladies and gentlemen. There was an email that I sent out to all my subscribers about a uh, sub-only thing for Smash Bros. Huh. Well, I 
think I'll also Ford. go... Ford? Play with a toy for 10 minutes and you're bored? What? Hey, he's talking to his dog. I like that Max is still ringing. Like it's, it's like, yeah. he'll, he'll answer. It'll, he'll Just let it go answer. all weekend. <laughs> Till he comes back. <laughs> he comes back to it ringing. <laughs> it's like, did I really leave my computer on all that all that time? He could have. I'm surprised the owl can pick you up. Oh yeah, it's only at night. Hey, go jump in the toilet. Night to find <laughs> in the toilet. Man, I ain't going there. I got some people to save, you know? Flush it down when you were done. Eh. Eh. It's not playing the music. Yeah, well. Uh, was that really all I could do? I did you do the, it. uh, did you do the guy who was, did, did you save the guy who was turned into a Gibdo? That's a little bit further into the game. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't really think there's anything left I can do right now. I pretty much exhausted all of my options until... So I'm gonna just deposit Side my of the money. final day, to the 12 hours remaining. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I don't remember. Come up with the toilet, flush it down mm. when you were done. I'm just gonna turn in the money real quick. And we're gonna die. I'm gonna reset time, I'm gonna do a couple more things. Deposit default demoman. I still demoman don't, who takes skill. I still don't understand how like the bank is immune to resetting time. Yeah. I think that's crazy, yo. Well anyway, let's uh let's do the song of time and I can't think of anything else that we need to do. Maybe the mark that they put on you was like it, it like when you deposit money, they change it so they can tell how much money yeah, you but have. Like, how does it still have money in the bank? I mean, they've got a lot. Yeah, because you give it there. But back then, no, they don't. You know what I mean? It's a little dude on a wooden structure. He's just kneeling down, slapping his knees. Yeah, you think he has much money? He Stop running a bank, Tom! <laughs> <laughs> You're not Jewish enough. You don't have the qualifications. Uh, your knees are not meant for that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do a couple things today. Where are you going? Hey. Where are you going? Get out. I don't know about the banker being a time traveler, sorry. Sounds like a game theory. But it's just a theory. A game theory. One day I'm gonna Maybe meet that guy in person. By the, by the way, that's gonna him. By the way, Vet, I'm gonna use a different account for uh, a different Skype account for the sub block. Okay. Did you get that email? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for getting me one viewer, Tom. Fuck. I need to add that. Fucking nothing. I wanted to get the warp so I can just warp here. <coughs> I don't know about you. I don't know why, like, you don't want to just warp here. His name is Kapora Gibora. I'm sorry, what? But that's. It's just a theory. A game theory. But even if the bank guy was a time traveler, the money doesn't travel with you. How does he keep the money? The answer is, the money is the time traveler. That's the answer to the question that you've been asking this whole time. Can you think of anything more badass than having time traveling money? Uh, no. yeah, you ready for it? Mario is Rosalina's dad. Mario's yeah, not get Rosalina. your mind blown. Rosalina's dad is actually F L U D D. 
That was your mind. <laughs> the flood, if you will. Hello. Oh, of all places, you're like a Goron. You should be able to carry a power keg, right? Uh, I don't have, uh, I don't have any money. I am flood! Do you require dousing? So I already did, I already did that. I already did the other thing. Uh, Rosalina, let me tell you about the story of how I doused your mother. Touch. Touch it. Resume settings. There we go. The other theory is that this game actually takes place in Braid, and all the money is highlighted in green. So it's immune to time effects. I'll just let that one- I'll just let that one sink in. Bitch. <laughs> I said bitch. Huh. Kick the chest, open the chest. This does not work in real life, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there you go. Uh, no. I might as well do this for a little bit and see if I can win it. I am the cybernetic ghost of Christmas past from the future, thousands of years ago, when the turkeys shit on my bread. Here I go, down the slope. Ooh, I'm going zip zap zoobity bop. Shit, 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 shitting, and I'm shitting, and I'm shitting. Shitting, shitting, shitting. To the bread. Shit, shit, shitting, onto the bread. Shit, shitting, into the bread. Shit, shit, shitting, into the bread. Shit, shit. Into the bread I'm gonna shit. Turkeys, turkey shitting into the bread. Chickens angry, that's what they say. And the turkeys. Oh, I did it! Oh, I did it on my first try! Oh! Bless you. Excuse me. I'm literally the best at this game. Why would I do it again? I just fucking won. <laughs> this fucking girl who has two jobs where she works with the mayor and then she works here. There was another thing I wanted to do in town. Maybe I should darken the wings. I yeah, feel like if they're too bright, I feel like I feel like if the wings are too bright a yellow that it won't uh that you won't be able to tell what it is. The only animal you need to darken the wings on are ducks. Because if you don't have a dark wing duck, you don't have a duck at all. God damn it, Drew. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't say that at dinner. Just randomly during it. I'm going to sneeze. Should it be a ba banana? Like, I've got the banana. I've got a the banana? bat wings. Is I just, gonna need, be a I, I, banana? I just need I just need to know what color that I need to make the bat wings. You got the funny face? No, there's not gonna be a face on it. It's too small for that. I got a powder keg. Also, you can do this on the first day if you just go beat Snowhead. You can literally just go kill should, goat. Should they be like a dark brown? Don't kill a goat. Goat. He's getting goat. Goat, goat is gonna oh, get goat. Very goat. Very goat. Very very goat. Uh, I think, I think I'm ready to blow up the Lawn Lawn Ranch in its entirety and everyone who lives there. That's not the Lawn Lawn Ranch, you fool. And thus um, picks up the events of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This image to my channel, you got the, the, the channel link with my subscriber icon, thank you. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to Tom Fox. Available for free in your nearest. Available for free unless you're subscribing. If you want the emoticon, singular because, because I haven't because I haven't come up with any more yet. You should make one, right? Are you ready? It's of a Danish. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'll just let that one Shit, sink line in. Out, line outside Nintendo World. I wouldn't want to be there. I'm gonna try to uh, oh, I'm gonna boy. try to get away with copyright infringement. 
I'm sorry, what? Yeah. You just said What are you that. gonna do? You just said that on a t on a Twitch time. <laughs> That's maybe not the smartest thing. Like that thing moment you've done. just nope. got just got muted. Now everybody <laughs> Seraphim, why would you want to touch Tom's butt? You know that that's breaking the touch barrier, and the touch barrier is sacred. You should really have more respect for Tom's personal the, space. The, the touch mm. barrier is sacred. All right, now that's the racism door, and I prefer to keep it closed. <laughs> let me in. You let me in there. I'm going to be upset. Oh, damn it, let me in. So in this area here, I need to get another mask, and I can fuck around in here, and I can get another mask. A lot of the game kind of, like, works that way, which I think is great. So, okay, it's just, it's a it's a banana with, like, dark, well, with dark brown wings. It's a banana that, that doesn't have a phone. There, I, I sent it, hopefully it'll be sent. You know what oh. would be really funny? What? If I, like, went in here, and I bet all my money on a random dog when you're not supposed to, like... Winning this when you know what you're doing is hard enough. But if I just went in here, and I was like, I'm gonna bet all my money on a random dog. It's always the blue one. The blue one always wins. It's not true. It's not true. If this works, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> Lady? There we go. Is this doggy fine? Yes. I'm going to bet all my money now. So... In the crew... The United States is divided up, divided up into... East Coast... The South... Midwest... Mountain States... West Coast... And then various cities, including Los Angeles, oh Las God. Vegas... Miami, New York, Detroit. I'm gonna have Chicago. to kill myself. Hold on, guys. I have to just prepare myself mentally for death. Oh no. Oh, good. He's not winning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me for a second because he started out in first place. Did you, uh, did you get, did you win any money? No. <laughs> so you lost all. Yeah. Well, that's all what 20, I. That's, all, all twenty rupees, Eddie. But that's what I. That's what I expected. To <laughs> I, I, I need to prepare myself for death. That was a bad choice. If you don't know your pup's feeling, I told you you can't win. I'm gay. But you know, I just thought it would be so funny if, like, I just went in there, picked the blue one, and it won. <laughs> Poor guy. He fell behind pretty far. Well, I mean, he's the he's the blue one, so we won. So you know. <laughs> Like a blue ribbon or something, or no, he's blue. He's literally the only blue one. Should have picked. Oh that yeah, white. It was I also yellow, one yellow one too. I love doing this cutscene as Guan. Like, it's so fun. <laughs> what cutscene? You'll see. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid dog! Hey, you made me look bad. Who are you? I'm Romani. What's your name? I won't say my name. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I am Damani. Why would you call me Grasshopper? I, I know I'm green, but like, I like how they actually made her have a frown when she says they are coming. Oh yeah, because this is the this is the only Zelda games with canon aliens. Not only are they canon, they're vicious. Yeah, they're really hard to kill. Don't you have, like, her mind scrambled or something like that? No. But when they invade and stuff... When they take she, her. They steal her soul, and she becomes a, a soulless shell of what she used to be. Is that what actually happens? the or? events of Ocarina of Time. Yeah. It explains why she looks the same, but she's completely different. She's... she's dazed. She no. is... She's soulless. Those look like enemies from Star Fox, the enemies. Or the, uh, the, the, the people. Yeah, they kind of look like that guy that, like, is on the train and he goes, Step on the gas. Step on the gas. No, hit the brake. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. <laughs> the voice acting is so terrible in that game. Father? <laughs> Father? It's not even- it's no way he goes, Father? <laughs> I 
it's not even like... I don't even... Why? Father! Yeah, I wish I was like... That's like one piece of the voice acting emotion. And I wish it was even close to that. Don't let Matt hear you say that. Well, Matt likes the writing of the show, not the voice actor. True. true. I'll give you that. Plus, it's an anime. No anime voice actor is well known for their talents of emotion and acting. They're known for their voices. Or their catchphrases. Believe it. <laughs> I'll teach you my horse calling song. Thanks. <laughs> and the memories of Lon Lon Ranch came back. You know what's funny? This is the opposite of the song of healing. Na, na, na. It, no, I, I mean like song of healing is uh, right, left, down, and this one's is up, right, left. So it's literally what the opposite notes would be if you were to do the Flip opposite. Flip it upside down. No, yeah. That that's what really the song of unhealing is. That calls a horse. If you could see Ipana during this scene, you would see Ipana running against the grate because <laughs> Ipana can't get out of there for this cutscene. You can hear her running. It's they hilarious. They are coming. They are coming. The are operation you gonna do starts. The, uh, are you going to do the alien minigame? Of course. But I'm not going to, like, sit around and do nothing until then. That's for sure. <laughs> see you later, bitch. I'll be back. Aliens, colonial movies. So if you ever, like, forget what time to show up, you don't have to worry about it. It's in the notebook. Right? So there it is, right before the night. You gotta do it. And if you don't do it, you see the other result. For now, we're gonna go race the brothers. We'll be hooked on the brothers and the friends. Too spooky, five me. Really? You had trouble with the aliens thing? Alright, I'll show you my strategy and hopefully it'll help you uh, be more consistent with uh, beating it. Hey, buddy. Hey, Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? <laughs> Do you think that horse that pathetic could gallop if you push the... The control stick forward? Or would it run faster if you pressed A? <laughs> this guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for a chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Oh, I don't have 10 rupees. Better you don't go. Have 10, you don't have 10 rupees? I've only got 5 rupees. Okay, Link. Oh, well. Not being good at aiming and being stressed out is not going to work very well for you, that's for sure. No, I want to get off of the horse. Thanks, Zelda. Thanks for letting me get off the horse, Zelda the game. Welcome. Tom. This should be enough rubles. Yep, I've got 33. Good night, Raya. Have those sweet dreams. People will say they have sometimes. Race against us for 10 rupees? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. <laughs> what do uh, you do? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Vet's gonna accidentally stop breathing. <sighs> are, you, are you ready? Happens all the time. <laughs> god damn it. Go ahead. Home early. G-Man. <gasps> Basically, you have to be running at something in a straight line in order to jump over it. Keep this in mind.
shit. Ah, oh, the game fucked me. Didn't let me jump over the last one when it should've. No, it's not like the Goron race, but it didn't let me it didn't let me jump over the last jump. But you gotta jump over the last jump in order to jump the jump to win. If you don't jump over the last jump, you always lose. But um That was really odd. I had everything positioned right, but the game said, nope! You're just gonna run into the last gate. This race, like, you don't really have to pull ahead of them to beat them. So it's nothing like the Goron race at all. It's far easier, but at the same time, it's, it relies on a mechanic at the end of it, which involves running in a straight line, which in some cases is more difficult than it should be. And there you see. And now we have to be more careful. Of course. Yep. GG. Yes, you can jump it. You just need to do three carrots, I think. Instead of two. But it's not easy. When the game... You have to, like, manage your carrots, you know? You can't run out of carrots. But of course you can jump it, otherwise it wouldn't be there. You can also just do this and kind of win it. Like with these, you need at least two carrots, and you're going fast. <laughs> Yoko Ono. Oh no, it's Yoko Ono. That's not. We're in 2014 now. See, you can jump over it. Alright, now suck my dick. I'm so fresh you could suck. It is true. There is no... There is no fishing minigame. What can we give this guy? Let's just give him something. Well, he's a kid. Well, here, you have this. The Garrow's Mask. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an important mask. I robbed them, according to the game. I literally just stole from them. Wait, what? <laughs> Why does he think you stole from him? The game tells you that you robbed the... the brothers of, of their little Garrow's mask. Oh, when you get the mask? It says wow, you robbed them. They are absolutely pissed. <laughs> well, Jeez. I mean, when they started the race, they went, <laughs> So... That is fucked. They obviously gave it their all. Really good at riding Fairbath. Is the yellow one supposed to be Wario? Yeah. That means the light blue one is Waluigi. Poor unfortunate soul. Draw to my- oh my god. Now I'm the poor unfortunate soul. Oh no, where is it? Alright, so we're just gonna take a break. No, we're gonna panic. try to find a hole. No, do you panic? Doki doki panic? Dog eat something? Clear! Clear! <laughs> Thank God's dead, yeah! <laughs> Clear. Actually, it's easier to do as the Goron what I want to do here. Is it the year of the Goron? I wish it was that instead of Luigi's year. Probably would have been more successful. Think of all the nice little uh, eShop games that could have come out based on Goron's. Like, Fall Down. They could have made a whole simulator. game based on Goron Racing. Wow, Ouija says, wow. They exactly. Made entire, they made a game based on a. Uh, they made a game based off of Tangle. Who? Tangle. Oh, Tingle. And his Rosy Ruby Land. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the Game Boy Advance game? It's Rosie Ruby Land. It's gonna be fun on the butt. I need to find another hole. 
It's been a trend now to uh, take mini games that they do for one game and then make it into a standalone game on a niche shop. Mm -hmm. They did that with Kirby. Yeah. Kirby, 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 he's the one you should know. It's Kirby, Kirby. Kirby. He's the star of the show. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, oh boy, you think? He's basically pink. He's coming right back at you for sure. All right, Captain, Captain Toad. Captain yep. Toad, Captain Midget. Although I am very excited for Captain Toad. Yeah, yeah, I want to see more of it. It's, a, it's an interesting little mini game idea. You know, it would work well as a as an iPad game. What? It would. That's pretty much how it's being marketed. How it will go. I'm there it is, like, ladies and gentlemen. Be. I give you the tea hat. Um, they have it available. Oh. Available for pre-order at GameStop, but I don't. I didn't see the price on it. Yeah, I don't think the price is known yet. Hardest mini boss in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Walking. That was so hard. Oh, oh. Somebody cuddle me all night. <laughs> I've got that. Uh, uh, Smash Bros. 3DS is a recognized game on Steam yet. I mean, I mean, yeah. Twitch. Of course not. It's brand new. Twitch isn't no. that new. Or no, Brian. it's been fucking. Only like uh, Crash or. Tournament are allowed to set their game to Smash Bros. 3DS. Oh, yeah, everyone so else has their set, set to Super Smash Bros. Interesting. But I mean, they are playing Super Smash Bros. Yeah. It's just that the first streams of it were illegal. <laughs> but now they should be legal. But no one can use that yet. Whee! And the people that streamed it illegally are still fucking going. By what? The stream of what? The, the US uh, copy version? No, when it uh, leaked in Japan. Remember oh. this hole. The year of Shulk. Like Shulk? the two days before release, it leaked from Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, my Sonic got struck. Zen Blades. Yeah. We should show if we're playing. Is we finally have English? Okay, Sparks is in English. Is he playing it now? Yeah. Uh, oh, like on stream? This is a yeah. Zor oh, right. Oh, they're releasing, they're releasing it early at the uh, at the uh, the Nintendo World Store. That's right. Yeah. Nintendo. We can get it off eShop. I'd imagine that being there would be no fun. I don't want to stand in New York at night, no matter how many people are there. I go to New York and then I perform at night. And then that's, I, go home. That's, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really stand there. at night, though. Okay, I can't tell if this is English or not. Oh, oh right, right. Oh, voices. Uh, I gotta go. I'm gonna. Uh, I gotta finish editing, and then I gotta go to bed. I'm gonna All go right. save. I'm gonna go save a drowning man, and then kill him. <laughs> God damn it! That's somebody, what you do. No, no. Somebody made a, a, an account called "It's Your Virus Ebola." And it's, uh, a pic it's a picture of Osmosis Jones that says not even this N-word can protect you from Ebola. Oh. Uh, I wonder how Taco Man feels about the recent spread of Ebola. Oh, yeah. We'll never get his opinions. On his channel, like... We'll never want his opinions. I heard he plays a video game and has fun, fun, fun. Hey, YouTube.txt shares your, uh, your, your thoughts. That's not a good decision. The cancer that's killing the internet. Internet memes. memes. Yeah. Memes, 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 memes. So yeah, the Man, guy, I can't tell. The guy that you can, like, kill after saving him, which, it's like, he seems okay. He's like, yeah, thanks for saving me, bro. And then he sings you a song, and then you kill him. <laughs> it's one of the only murders in the entire game. Oh. You want to okay, know an bye. annoying enemy? No, 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 no. 
See you, Tom. I'm pretty sure he still has Japanese. That sounds like Japanese Fox. I guess he's not here because I have to reset time. Wow, what a drag. Eh, it's alright, we'll just ride Ipana for a little while. Yeah, that's Japanese. Okay. Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning Japanese, I really think so. <laughs> Oh, he's doing, he's doing classic mode. You know what? I think I'll go to the swamp and I'll take a picture. What the hell? Is this a door? Hmm. Is that a hole? I've never seen that hole before. Go to the seagulls? What the hell are you talking about? The seagulls? The seagulls? Oh, right. He has to unlock all the characters again. Hey, he wants to do it the actual way. I hope everyone's super hyped for the new Smash Brothers game. Yum. I hope everyone's super hyped for the new game that's gonna make Mewtwo King upset. Ow. Well, he stopped bitching about it. Oh, good. It's so different from the... Uh, betas. I would call the the demos. I don't know why Epona just jumped, but I'm glad that she did. Spank that horse. Don't believe the hype. That sounded like a bomb chew. You may be wondering why I'm riding there when I can just warp there. The answer to your question is... I have to waste, like, time until closer to night so that I can warp back and save the farm. So when it gets closer to night time, I'll head back over. They're miserable now. But just, just say wait. Wait. I said it. I said wait. Hey, he's on like the final- yeah, it's the final form. This is my final form. Good grief. Good grief, Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh no, that's right. Because he's playing Shulk. The last form mimics you. He was fighting the CPU Shulk. He's gonna combo, I mean, counter every single move. What? Is every CPU, every C, the CPU, um, when they use a, a character that is a counter, they do not stop fucking using it. Nice. Take off and arrow to the face. <laughs> ba -ba -da -da -da. You mean Nate? He... I don't know if I'm even really allowed to talk about what happened to him, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Sorry. This is what happens when you're a fan. You kind of get left out of things like that. Because they're none of your goddamn business. <laughs> but more importantly, it's just... I don't think he wants people talking about what happened to him in a way. Uh, I 
wanted to try to get the tinkle picture to work, but it doesn't seem to be working. I'm probably doing something wrong, so instead of wasting time with that, I'm just gonna use the picture of the Deku King. Oh yeah, well, of course it's personal. I mean, he still exists, it's just... What happened to him is complicated and he doesn't want everyone talking about it, so... We don't... Unlike other groups, I tend to think that I... Try to keep some things sacred if I can. Hey, big boy. Wanna see my cool hat? So whenever you see these frogs, you can put on this mask and say hello. Ah, Danjiro. It has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be you came all this way looking for me? Ah, you need not say a thing. Upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I heard there was still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, I shall definitely go. Let us meet again. We'll actually go after all the frogs when uh, we're gonna finish up the game. That'll be one of the last heart pieces we get. Because I'm gonna have to like go through the dungeons anyway. Um, I'm gay. So basically we just have to... there's two frogs, I think? Two of them are found in dungeons. Three of them are found throughout the world. There's one in Clock Town, one here, and one of them is in the Zora area, I think. Or he's in... he's somewhere else, I don't remember. I'll remember it when we have to do it. I'll go, oh, there he is. <laughs> I'll get him. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. It's not where I want to go. This is how you can tell I might be getting a little sleepy. <laughs> and at the same time as doing all the other stuff, I... how you do it. Of course the game has creepy music. Its, it's setting is a little creepy. In case, in case anyone who's watching forgot, there's a certain visual that you can see from anywhere that's outside if you look to the skies. If you're not careful, you'll see it. You'll see the visual. You'll see it. There's that, which is, that's Doom Mountain if I remember right. And there it is. Isn't it welcoming? Isn't it I mean, that's... there it is. Uh, I think I left that on for a little too long, but hey. What? Yep, I've beaten this game countless times before. Yes. Doom, Doom. That thing looks like Doom Mountain, but it's just poisonous instead of fiery. Well, you can't really take risks now where the business is at. Like, you've got to turn a profit, or you go under. It's that simple. I mean, look at what happens to countless studios. If you don't turn a profit, your studio closes down. It's that simple. And because of that, risks... not as okay to take... anymore. Not... not as wise. Oops. Okay.
So when you're doing the upcoming minigame, okay, viewers, there are a couple problem spots. The one that spawns back here is a really big fucking problem, because basically, I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay. There's one alien that will spawn back here, way back here, right, and he'll Come on around, and he get he will sneak into this barn so fast, you won't even realize it. Um, and then you've got the ones that spawn way the fuck out here. They can sometimes overwhelm you if you aren't good at aiming the bow. And then the only other one that's really a problem is the one that spawns down in this corner. There's going to be one that spawns down where these cows are. And, uh... It'll come straight for the barn there. But basically, you're just protecting this structure. As long as you keep that in mind, it's a lot easier to complete the mission. You have to save all the cows. If one alien gets through, your mission is a failure. Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Hey, I'm gonna talk to you while I'm on the horse. It won't let me. Shit, I didn't want to practice, but eh, why not? I'll show you the problem spawns. This one's easy, really easy to kill over and over again. This one, I don't even think is an issue. I think you only have to shoot this one once in the actual challenge. That spawn. <sighs> this spawn can be problematic because sometimes he'll double team you with another one. This one here. When they both come up at the same time, that can be a little annoying. But definitely the worst one is the one that's back here. That guy. This spawn is the worst. Like, am I the only one who doesn't see these fucking things? Oops. Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's great. You two work perfectly together. Tonight, at two. gonna speed it up I just wanted to re-trigger it just in case because games like this run off of triggers so if you do not trigger it properly you can accidentally your own grandma so now for the only hard part it's running around in a circle until it starts Especially when you have it on slow time, which we really should do. So we're gonna put it to fast time. 
a real quick, which for some reason time moves faster when you're moving. I don't know why in this game that is a mechanic, but it is, so uh, fuck my ass, Bill Murray. Yeah. But you can, you can see, hmm. Time, now it's moving that fast, right? And now we're gonna start moving and watch if, watch it speeds up. Isn't that weird? And then basically we just keep running around until two o'clock. <laughs> we're stuck here until it's two. There's no way to put it on double time since we aren't using an emulator. So... We... Cookie cookie! Cookie cookie! Cookie cookie! Just fucking eight more hours in game. <laughs> uh, let's do this. I'm just so glad we only have to do it once. We only have to do it. Once. I hope. The only way to be a sludge lord is to be Moss himself. Or to beat him in Mortal Kombat. And inherit the mines. Oh, God damn it! What? I just looked at the stream. Why am this, is I... what, this is what you're doing for eight minutes. I'm stuck doing this. There's no... There's no... <laughs> There's nothing else for me here. Yeah. I guess I can just climb this ladder and see what's on top of the barn, but I have to get back on that horse before two. I still have no idea why I can get up here. I hear like bugs, but I don't see them. I might as well put a bug in a bottle and. Ba -da -da -da. Tom did get a blowjob once, this is true. With teeth. The beauty, that's what you hear. Turn down for what? Alright guys, we're almost there. Turn down for what? I just can't wait until we get the hook shot, because then I'm gonna go get all the skeletons and we'll have the mask of truth and the super wallet, which make this game so much easier. And there's lots of cool stuff I can show you guys when I have those two items. Because you can buy stuff that you couldn't buy before, bitch. 
Oh, just two more hours in the game. Oh, here we go. Can I quote some of my lines from No Time to Explain? I am you from the future. There is no time to explain. <laughs> Follow me to O Christ. Ah. And who could forget the classic? My ribs are in my eyes. Or everyone's favorite, I'll never dance again, Mom. Sobbing noises. Or... Um, forgive me, Hasbro. I'm sorry I pirated Roller Coaster Tycoon. Those are some quotes. And there's, I'm a delicious muffin. And then he eats him. Uh, the U the Ninja Yubi game I was in. And the ninjas say stuff like, I'm gonna get you, and then you slice them and they go, Aah! And the, you will not defeat me. Oh, it's two, it's two a.m. She's leaving her house. That it's almost time. That it's almost time. And two thirty, 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 two thirty now. It is a fun game, and it's nice and easy, and it's even more fun if you play it on a tablet or if you have a touchscreen computer. All right, so now we're playing for keeps. This is the real one. The dog will do its best to help you. It runs over to the aliens that are closest to the house. To be honest, it's usually best to uh, just wait until they get close to maximize the amount of time you have. The one that really sneaks in on you the most is this fucking asshole over here. That one is easily the worst. See what I mean? See this asshole? Right, the sun's almost up. That's all you have to do, just watch the dog. The dog will tell you which one is closest. Shoot that one. Game over, you win. We did it, we won. Thank you, thanks to you. The cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip. Oh yeah! Another bottle, ladies and gentlemen. Five hearts per gulp, and you get two fucking gulps, bitch. See you later, little hero. Goodbye. Bum 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 bum. Bum 
Bum, 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 bum. Is he stuck in there? No. Where the hell is my horse? I hear him. Or her. Oh, there she is. My pony's back! Yay! Guess I got my pony back. So we have Super Sword. We've... Conquered the ranch. Now what? Hmm, well, might as well go back to town and see if there's anything we can fuck around with there. Because we have to wait until the second night anyway, so we might as well back to town. Fart around a little bit. So literally you can't go to the next temples until you reset time the first time around for this game. And the reason why that is is because Nintendo wants you to save your game between every temple. But after you've beaten all the temples for the first time once, you're good. You don't have to worry about it anymore, you know what I'm saying? At night, there's a man here. Who accidentally is grandma. Ah, Don Jero, what uh, brings you on this way? How could it be you came on this way looking for me? Ah, uh, you did not say a thing. On seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I heard I'm gay. <laughs> He's in Disney World right now. I bet you he's staying in the sports resort. What a nerd. So there's no, like him a, in his sports. The hardest heart piece to get is this one. The fucking lottery. God, I hate that. Uh, I'm not even gonna fucking bother with that yet. isn't dead, he's just at Disney World. Don't yeah, it's be just a little silly. Jokey. A little jokey tell around the office. <laughs> what are you looking for? Fairy. Fairies! Let's see what the shopkeeper has to say. We don't have much, but what we do have is the best. No, really. Take a look. Goodbye. I wish you could buy that bottle up there, but not today, potato. And then, eventually, we'll get to go to the curiosity shop. But that opens at 10 p.m. I do want to talk to the postman at some point, though. Let me see, when does this open? Is this open at 9? Yeah, okay. 
talking to the postman. I'm currently on the job. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now if I go to the notebook. This is one of the ones that you definitely want to have the notebook before you talk to him. The postman, as you'll see, he has a couple gaps in his schedule where he intercepts with things. Horse trainers. But it's really nice that they have a thingy that tells you how to go to bed. I'm invisible. No, I'm invisible. It's not just a sword, it's a gilded sword. This is like a bastard sword based on how it's a the length of a two-handed sword, but you wield it with one hand, so that's a bastard sword. Epana, I want to go for a ride. Thanks, Epana. Now let's go back to the ranch. We're gonna speed up time. We're gonna conquer the ranch quest. You shouldn't actually do the Lon Lon Ranch or whatever quest or Romani Ranch or whatever it is. Quest. You shouldn't do that quest until after you be can become Zora Link, but it's not a big deal. We mostly just want the masks anyway. And then we can go back down there and, and be gay or whatever we want to do. So, I ain't worried about it, you know? I ain't worried about it. Not only do I not know, but it's like what I want to know. But, like, what I want to know is... Where is the game? No arrows. Really? This game is so mean to me. Stop streaming. I've been at this for three hours. Kiss my dad, call me Bill. But I love playing this game, so it's hard for me to stop. Their door opens at 6 a.m. on the dock. Uh, hello? What the fuck? Where are they? They must be in the barn. Wow. They would leave their house completely empty. The fuck ever, guys? They, they didn't even get breakfast? They just, they're not even here. Like, where's the caveman? Is she in the barn? I'm in the barn! Oh my, hello. Romani's going to take our milk to clock down too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon. You want to ride? I'll be leaving at 6 o'clock this evening. You can... Join me, if you like. Bitch. 
So we're going to equip a mask and play the ocarina and... Alright, so here's the wagon. Hey. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now. Would you like to ride? Sure. Notice that we're wearing a mask. We are wearing a mask. This is important to tell. Oh. Oh. You don't get any boob. What are you talking about? But Those are like four four polygons at max. Like really? Automated cutscenes you can't make it any faster. She talks about the aliens and says they're ghosts. I don't know why, because Romani says they're aliens, but she calls them ghosts. It's so weird. If you're wearing a certain mask, or oh, there's Anju. This is where you get um, revealed. It's like introduced to Anju for the first time, and you see how she's connected to these people. <sighs> so now is when you notice a roadblock exists that didn't exist there before and doesn't usually exist on there. If you may, if you remember earlier, we'll have to go a direction that we. Boy, get your bow ready. Get your bow ready. There's two masks that you can wear to get it. <laughs> I almost forgot that they have. All these, like, billboards out of nowhere. You ugly country. But anyway, there's two masks you can wear to have a... an effect on the pursuers that will be happening. One of them is the Garrow mask. The other is, um, the Weeping Gorman mask. I don't know why... But, uh... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I guess not. But at least I can wear their mask. I feel like I'm a part of their group. But if you have the weeping, uh... Orinan mask or whatever the hell these guys' names are, they don't attack you. They refuse to. I don't know why. But since you have unlimited arrows, you can just spam. And you're done. We saved all the milk. You can see we have all three bottles. Oh boy. And thus begins Twilight Princess. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in a while. Thanks, you are pretty cool. <laughs> Huzzah, we have the mask. So now we got the Romani mask. With Romani. Can wear this mask to get into the bar at night and talk to some boy. Oh no, it only opens at 10. Oh, there's this guy. Hello, Gorman. Bah, bulba, bulba. I'm busy. 
Boom. Ba -da 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 -da. He gets to go in a half hour early. Fuck that guy, man. I can't get in here. Well, might as well drink this milk. Unpasteurized milk. This is illegal in the US. And let's try that again. I don't think I put my hand on my hip. Wow. GG. Can't even drink milk, right? G to the G, the bang, the bang, diggy, 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 said the jiggy, so don't drop the jiggy. So, there's a beverage that is sold in the bar. Ah, you remember, please, come in. It's weird, because it says you have to wear your mask at all times while you're in the bar, but no one else is fucking wearing this mask, are they? See anyone else wearing a fucking mask? I didn't think so. It's milk. Can you get tipsy from something like milk? Got some good milk in tonight. Would you like some romani for your final moon viewing? Son of a bitch. But you're gonna have a drink here, right? You can get regular milk. Or... Chateau. And Chateau is actually really important milk. Because it increases your magical powers. I think it makes it like unlimited for a short amount of time, which is really nice for things like certain boss fights that we'll be fighting later on, which are really fun. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? No, she doesn't. I mean, like, maybe she does that in the Japanese version, but not in this version. But, uh, I think we're all set with, uh... Well, not really. We can we can still do one more thing. Since we have the truth lens, I did want to do that earlier, but didn't really get around to it. I might as well use the boron mask because it's faster movement. I just love looking around the field at all the cool stuff. All the areas and the temples, if you can see them from here. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. But anyway, we're gonna be stopping right here. There he is. Oh, I guess you don't need a truth lens. I didn't know that. Get the way we need the ocarina. You can walk up to this guy. And play the song of healing and the... The pot-bellied dancer will teach you his dance. Successor. He is my trainer boy. Ah, Mr. Kamaro, I just so happen to know a place where I can teach people. I hope that that was vet. What? Huh? Yeah. I cracked my fingers as well. Oh. It's a little far away though. 
So you'll see these two lovely ladies. They're like... There's this song. It sounds so familiar, but wait. We can't figure out a dance to it. Well, here's the dance. And that's the dance. You dance it up. You're good to go. And the guard's like, That son of a bitch. <laughs> the peace of heart has been earned. And now they do the dance. Hooray! Victory. I'm gonna deposit my money, I'm gonna go see something, and then... I think that the stream is pretty much done, depending on... what I go see, because I have to reset time anyway, so... You can see we got a whole bunch of masks. You know, we don't have all the masks, but you know, we're getting there. Got a whole bunch of pieces of heart. It doesn't matter if she hugs you or not. Like, there's. It doesn't add or subtract anything from the experience whether you get hugged or not. This is the guy that's gonna give us a cool mask. The Bremen mask. He talks about like a dog or something. And when you listen to his song, he gives you a mask. And then you can you can do things. Um, I don't know about that, guys. There are times where I don't want to be hugged. Okay, it's not always nice. Yes, the game automatically saves when you restart time. It's very true. It's not just a joke. From the popular animated... 3D tune... Wham Brothers... Omega... Saturn edition. Cup of a feel. He doesn't really cop a feel, does he? Duwad. His name is Duwad. Duwad. Damp. Bam. Booad. Shibidap. Bam. This guy's connection's better. Oh no, he's Little Mac. It's time to be Bremen, the dog leader. It doesn't even matter if this is the first time picking the game up. No. It's a little back. Well, when you look at Link's height, like if you're a girl and you hug him, you're probably gonna put your tits in his face. It's just how it is. It's just the way it goes. It's time to march it out. Uh, 
This challenge is actually a lot harder than it looks because all the chickens are randomly. They run around in random patterns. And when you were marching, it's pretty hard to find all of the chickens because they're tards. They don't know what to do when they piss you off because- oh, like, look, there's one all the way over there. And there's one all the way over here, too. Those are probably the last two. You know what's a uh, fun fact? Every single time I've done this quest, it was always on the final day. I don't know why. Don't know why. I've done it. Oh, there's one more. There's always one more. Anyone see him? Hello? Check. Oh, there he is. Of course, he's right in the fucking middle of the map. And then they become chickens. Like, I don't really get it, but just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have any regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this. The boogie hood. We've done it. We've unlocked the most useful mask in the game. The bunny hood is amazing. I love this mask. It's so good. Like, all of our jumps are super jumps. We run twice as fast. We get to have bunny ears. What more do you need? Like, we don't even need Epana anymore. We're faster. That's the best part. I'm looking both ways before I cross the street. But yeah, we're gonna play the Song of Time now, and that's gonna be the stream. I'm gonna thank everybody for coming. It was, was a good three and a half hour stream. I'm gonna have to download all the videos separately so that I can... <sighs> I played the wrong Song of Time. Like a big silly. But uh, anyway, thank you to everyone who came by, and thanks to Tom for stopping by and talking a little bit taking time out of his busy video editing schedule gotta take the time to do the crimes but uh now that we've reset time the next time that we play we're going to beat the water temple oh the water temple Ugh. There's nothing good that comes out of Great Bay, by the way. Great Bay, 